we have a good life here and we eat well and, and get to meet a lot of people up in the tasting room and we have you know repeat customers come back and it's just fun to play and talk with them. There it is. How about that? Is that magic or what? Ten percent of agriculture actually sells directly to the consumers with our tasting room or that ten percent of the farmers that do that. But I think we have an advantage because we're the ones who grow the grapes, we work in the vineyards, we live in the vineyards, and we can grow a product that the consumer likes. I see down here, this is the St. George that we have down through here. And up through here, of course, this is the Zinfandel. And we put it on St. George because it's resistant to flock so it'll be here for you and your children. The challenges, of course, there's, in all agriculture, there, there's mother nature. You have wonderful days like this, but then we have a frost that's gonna be coming on, and then there might be a rain that's gonna be at harvest time. The, probably the, one of the largest challenges that we have here is over government regulation. A certain amount is acceptable, but when you have to have 29 licenses to run your tasting room, or we have 11 licenses to grow our vines, this is where we're, you know, we're born, we're raised here, we live here, we drink the water, we eat the food, we grow on gardens that are here, so I'm going to do something to protect my land. You know, we're the best stewards. We always raise ducks every year, and this year we have 15 flying mallards, and they, we have them in our pond, so they eat all the bugs and all the algae, so the ponds are cleaner these older ducks, we have four, and one of them is eight years old, and they come when we call them. Like if I say ducks, ducks, they come flying. Uh, we got these ducks from Iowa in the mail. They came on a plane, and they're 12 days, no, they're 13 days old today. It's good, it's a good life. It's good livelihood, and, I'm, and they're learning it, and that's good. You have to really believe in what you do, so it'll last for generations and generations. 